Progressive Conservative Party Leadership Convention from the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. And, uh, well, it's not going according to the plan that a lot of people had predicted. In 2003, CPAC brought viewers a real-time look at one of Canada's most dramatic political deals. The final ballot came down to Peter McKay and Jim Prentice, and playing the Tory kingmaker, David Orchard. He wanted a review of free trade, and as for calls to end a decade of vote splitting and cooperate with the Canadian Alliance... There will be no takeover of our party, no merger agreements. So the question became which side would entice Orchard and his dedicated followers. There have been discussions, there's no question, and we're going to continue those discussions, and some decisions are going to be made by some people very soon. I've been talking with the Orchard people for several days. Now Bryson there's some movement. movement. Scott... Scott Bryson and Jim Prentice are heading down uh, their riser, and uh, let's see if this is the historic meeting. I feel like we're going to have a boxing referee who, well, with one on either side holding up the hand of the one he chooses. <laughs> the decision would become clear just moments later. Okay. Where are we moving to, Peter? They're clearing a path between David Orchard and Peter McKay. I can see them both. Here okay. they go. Now let's hear what they say. Very good. We're walking out of here together. Right. All right. We go up on the Well, let's uh, come on over here. Take a All right. Well, there it is. That seals it. David Orchard has joined Peter McKay. It's up to the delegates at this point. I've made it very clear what I stand on. The delegates can make their choices. 1,510 votes. There's the new leader of the Progressive Conservative Party of Canada, Peter McKay. He's won it on a tough four-ballot fight, but he is won. Reports of a deal left many with a muted reaction and curiosity about what McKay agreed to. It's a gentleman's agreement that David Orchard and I have come to that uh, there would be no formal merger of parties, and uh, I'm perfectly prepared uh, to be consistent with that. Uh, I'm, that does not preclude continuing to talk with members of the Alliance or members of any party. There sure were a lot of questions about the deal with David Orchard and uh, well, look who's with me now. Do you have the agreement? I do. Do you have it with you? No, I don't. Would you release it to the public? Well, no, we're not going to join the Canadian Alliance. We're not going to merge. We're not going to have You joint. just heard Mr. McKay said he's not, a, he's not against pursuing discussions he's, and talks with the Alliance. He's going to talk with all, everybody. That's not he's, language he's, you use. He said he's going to talk with all parties, and that's, that's wonderful. Of course, that was then. And this was what CPAC viewers saw less than five months later. Late last night, Mr. McKay and I signed an agreement in principle to create a new political party, the Conservative Party of Canada. I've kept my commitments to Mr. Orchard. I spoke to him this morning. As I traveled this summer, I came to that realization that this was something that I had to pursue. This is bigger than David Orchard or Stephen Harper or, or myself. I told him it was a complete and utter betrayal of our agreement but more importantly that it was a betrayal of the PC Party of Canada, its constitution and its history.